Hi. Hi. Where we at? Vegas. Hey. Vegas. <laughs> Better known as Sin City. A few lucky might know it as Win City. And if you get lucky for a night, it could be Twin City. Jokes aside, it's a place to indulge yourself. A place that encourages you to do your best to be on your worst behavior. A magical place where everyone feels like the main character. If there's seven deadly sins, this is your place to commit all of them and turn it up to 11. Finally back in Vegas in our favorite hotel, the Cosmopolitan. Fuck yes. First things first, we gotta give a special shout out to Myra at check-in. She was great, she hooked it up. She got us the 46th floor, which is, is this is the highest floor we've stayed, right? One of the highest. Yeah, we haven't been up this high and it's pretty damn cool. Explain what we're doing right now. Uh, we're gonna go eat. Because we haven't eaten all day. We had Chick-fil-A at the airport, but Oh, wasn't, yeah, that wasn't really It doesn't anything. count. Uh, where are we going? We're gonna go check out Nacho Daddy. Hey, we actually have a reservation tomorrow. Yes. But we're here sooner than expected, so we're gonna go check it out right now. Yeah. Oh, you already pressed it. <laughs> yeah, I figure since we're the top floor, it might take a minute. Oh, yeah, it is. You know, sense. top floor life. Uh, actually, pretty quick. Right here, actually. <laughs> ready? So ready. Cheers. I know, that's why I just slid it. Yeah? It's not bad. It's really sweet. It's What'd you get? What is that? White peach. Cadillac. Cadillac margarita. Yeah. I haven't had a full drink in about eight weeks. Uh, I've had sips, but not a whole drink of myself, so it's the first one. What'd you get? Mexican candy margarita, but with mezcal instead of tequila. So good. So, Nacho Daddy was pretty good. Uh, ended up having two drinks, both delicious. Um, what did you think of Nacho Daddy? I really liked it. Yeah, it was pretty good. I will say this, the filet mignon nachos... Uh, mignon. Filet mignon nachos have way too much tomato. Um, it almost tasted like a Mexican pizza from uh, Taco Bell, which isn't a bad thing, but... I don't know, it was just like, eh. it, it needs more meat. What did you think of yours? Um, I thought my meat was a little dry, but the flavor was really good, so I was able to still like enjoy them.
how the wind's starting to pick up. So this is fun. This is, this is cool. How is this expected but unexpected? This sucks. Is the camera okay? Yeah, it's okay. with a view of the Bellagio Fountains and lightning, which is still going on, actually. How are you feeling? Um, I'm a little tired. I'm hot and grimy from the rain, but I'm having fun. Oh, also, I'm up for like $25. No way, no. I want 50 bucks. I only want 20. I only gambled 20. So you're up 30? Yeah. Can't do math. I'm up $30 so far. I'm which up is a win in my book. 35 cents. <laughs> up is up.
miss the banana pancakes though. Those are amazing. Yeah, they'll come back. I think we ordered too much food because I am stuffed. I just want to go back to the river and go to bed. But we're not cooking that. dinner tonight we're going to one of our favorite spots mm -hmm. in all of Vegas best friend yes it's one of our favorites I'm very excited
Today we will be hitting up Planet 13 Dispensary because this girl wants to get high. It's not true. Trying to jack our Uber. Dumbasses. Oh, yo, I was like, yo, hold up, those guys. Right. <laughs> Sorry, you almost got me. <laughs> yeah. Today was pretty cool so far. I was able to meet Neck Face and the Nuge. If you don't know who those people are, you can learn about them like me, like I did today. <laughs> um, Planet 13 was really dope too. Yes. The Mexican restaurant in there is pretty fire. Those birria tacos were probably one of the best ones I've ever had. So if you're there and you're hungry, definitely check it out. Tell them what you're also having for dinner tonight though. <laughs> Oh, I guess I'm having more birria tacos tonight, so that's a thing. I have to, like, I can't not try birria tacos anywhere I go. That's good, it tastes just like chocolate. I would taste it. So, slight change of dinner plans. Where were we supposed to go? Casa Playa at the Wynn. Would have been our first time. That little uh, chocolate piece worked a little too well. And uh, now we're doing this. second to last night here and we were hungry, we were hungry. Our last day in Vegas consisted of us making up for the steps we lost because of the heat. We finally tried Tacos El Gordo, and it lived up to the hype, but mostly because there was no line. It's not something I would stand in the heat for. It's good. I'd say my one word, classic. Okay. The main event of the night was Gordon Ramsay's steak. Gordon Ramsay never misses, and it's entirely possible I might have contributed a change to the menu. Hey, I just want video proof of this. Is it safe to assume that next time I'm here, the El Matador, I order it, and there's tahini on the rib. That was my influence. For you, absolutely. <laughs> Definitely. So there's video proof right there. Yes. Yeah, it's all started right here. 
and I'm actually gonna recommend it to a few people too. Hey! See if it gets Maybe we should do like half uh, sugar, uh, of, like cinnamon sugar, sugar, yeah. And then we'll do the tahini on the other side. We were in Vegas for six days and five nights. A trip that long is kind of like using a bath bomb. The anticipation of the trip is exciting, and you can hardly wait. Much like waiting for the water to fill the tub. The bright lights of the strip are mesmerizing, like the bath bomb dissolving and showing its colors. Then you're in it, and everything is great. Until you're there for too long, sitting in your filth, foreign substances in your body, drying you out and leaving you dehydrated. Your skin's telling you it's time to go. If I had to pick my favorite place in Vegas, it would be this balcony. There's no better place to take in a view and reflect. All while fighting the call of the void. I mentioned that Vegas is a place to commit all seven deadly sins. Looking back, I can say we committed our fair share of them. Gluttony, greed, sloth, and lust. Four out of seven over half of the deadly sins. It's not a perfect score, but it made for a good trip. So that was Vegas. 